Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am April Sunny, and today is Makeup Free Sunday. Why? Because I'm going to be cleaning my house and doing the laundry, you know, prepping for the week. And while I'm doing so, I'm going to be cleaning my hair tools. It's very important to clean your hair tools. So I'm going to show you how I clean my hair tools at home. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's get started. Okay, so I normally clean my hair tools in my dining room. These are the suspects, these dirty little guys. Unfortunately, I haven't cleaned my hair tools properly in the past three months, but that is okay because I'm gonna get it done today. I always place my tools on a paper towel. So as I'm pulling the dirt, hair, product, and anything else falling out of there, it will fall directly onto the paper towel. Here I'm just taking my rat tooth comb and going through the bristles and pulling up the dirt and all of that gook and nastiness that gets caught in your hair brushes. Most people normally stop there with their brush. I do not. I go back in and I pull up whatever is at the root of that bristle. It's always some leftover stuff there that's normally where like the little frizzy fuzz balls get stuck. So if you go back in and really get down at the bottom of that bristle, you can pull all of that up. Once I feel I've gotten all I can get, I will move on to the next brush. Now this is a paddle brush that has the little um, balls on the end of the bristles. So you can't pull through like you did with your detangling brush. So I'll just pull up to the little ball, as you can see, and then pull the rest out with my fingers. The bristle brush is, you know, that thing gets really dirty. So I take my time on this one and get as much out as possible. Once I'm done cleaning my brushes, I will then cover all that hair, break off that paper towel, use the clean side of the paper towel and wipe off my combs and pull any dirt, hair or debris out of my combs. Once I'm done wiping off my combs, all of my tools are prepped and ready for my cleaning solution. For my solution, I'm going to use baking soda and distilled white vinegar. For the baking soda, I'm going to take two scoops of this baking soda and then I kind of eyeball the white vinegar. I'm just trying to show you like how much is in there um, hopefully you can see it so that's it and then after that I'm gonna go get some warm water and I always use this container this is my hair tool container you can get it from the dollar store I add the white vinegar first kind of swirl that around with my comb and then I add the baking soda and I swirl that around as well and then once I'm done mixing that up, I just drop that comb in there and do the same for each comb that I put in. Mm -hmm. 
Now for my hairbrush, they are wooden brushes. So I don't want that submerged into the water. So I kind of like hang it off of the side. My paddle brush, it is black, but it's still wood. Now I will let my tools sit in this solution for 15 to 30 minutes, but somewhere in between I will pick up the brushes and as you can see there's some gook there on the side of the brush. I just think that's maybe um, some leftover hair product. but it gets like stuck on the brushes. So I'll go through and I'll wipe all of the edges of my brushes off to get that product off. So for my bristle brush, it needs a little bit more TLC. So I'm gonna take the finer side of my comb and go back in and pull up all of that gook at the bottom of that brush that gets stuck in there. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys an up close uh, shot of what is stuck in your hair tools when you don't take the time to actually properly clean it. Look at all of that dandruff and dirt and gook that was in my hairbrushes and combs. Once they have set in the solution for 15 to 30 minutes, I'm gonna then go ahead and pull off anything that's left on it and put it onto a clean paper towel. And after I do that, I'm going to go and clean this container and put in clean, warm water. So I'll be back. My next step is going to be wiping clean anything or residue that may have been on the combs from the solution. And for the combs, I do go in between um, each little tooth because there's stuff in there too, guys. By not cleaning our hair brushes and combs, we're stopping them from working properly. When reusing a dirty hairbrush or comb on clean hair, we're just redepositing all of that buildup back onto our scalp and to our strands. And don't think that using dirty hair brushes cannot cause damage. It absolutely can cause damage to your hair. And also, worse, it can cause hair loss. And that is what we don't want. What you see me doing here is taking my time and really trying to get to the bottom of this brush so I can wipe off any product or residue at the bottom of this brush. It's really difficult to get in between, but um, take your time and, and get down there. Once I have the clean hair tools and the clean warm water, I normally let that sit for about five minutes. In the 
five minutes is up, I will then go grab a tile and dry them as much as I can. And I lay the brushes with the bristles face down so it can kind of drip dry. All right guys, so that is how I clean my hair tools at home. It is very important to me to keep them clean. I know it's been three months since I've done so. I've been really busy. I know that's not an excuse because it really doesn't take that long, but I got it done today and that is what matters. So drop a comment down below. Let me know how you clean your hair tools at home and how often. And until the next time, guys, be love.